The dailiness of life is so heavily witnessed at Kenyon. That allowed me to understand how to listen to people and be observant and keep track of life. It made me very present and awake. For the past year and a half, I have been directing a feature-length documentary film about a fisherman and some fish and game conservationists whose lives revolve around wild salmon in southeast Alaska. I brought on my friend Mora Fett, who is also a Kenyan graduate, as co-director. She was a senior when I was a freshman. She's such a role model to me. Even after she graduated, we continued our friendship and creative partnership. Moore and I became entranced by the story of Cat Murphy. All right, you're good. She fishes wild salmon through this very traditional, indigenous, sustainable practice of hook and line fishing. She fishes in southeast Alaska in the summer and then runs her direct market business in the fall and winter in Port Townsend, Washington. I was inspired to develop a film around this solution to an ecological problem. The story is about shifting our understanding of the ecosystem as a rigid exchange of resources to a deeply empathic and interconnected web rooted in mutual respect. Being in a Kenyan classroom really taught me how to communicate ideas. There's a genuine curiosity that Kenyan students have in each other that promotes these really rich conversations because we're all unraveling our own understandings of big concepts together, guided by professors who were genuinely curious about their students' minds. It encourages this level of attuneness to language and how we communicate ideas and feelings to arrive at some point. When I arrived at Kenyon, it just felt immediately so aligned with what I wanted my college experience to be. That experience really honed in on how I want to approach filmmaking and writing and just kind of life. Going out, going into the world and touching it. <laughs> 